I came here 13 years ago, and uh, the reason I came was Baylor was trying to make the best sociology of religion department in the country. And I think the reason I stayed is because I think we succeeded in that. The idea of an apprentice goes back to the Middle Ages. And um, I'm proud to say that Baylor is in the long-standing tradition of um, apprenticing. We try to start from the very first semester with graduate students, bringing them into uh, sort of our world of teaching and of research where they see us more as mentors and collaborators. We have a we have a relatively small program. We have 19 faculty members currently and we have 22 graduate students. So it's almost a one-to-one -one student to faculty ratio in our graduate program. Our graduate program has three tracks, community analytics, health and society, sociology of religion. And over the last uh, five years we're proud to report that our students have published over 25 papers in academic journals. Some career paths of past community analytics graduates include government agencies as well as institutions and corporations uh, which value applied research or teaching uh, community research at the university level. Everyone I've known over the past five years who's graduated has actually placed and found a position and I have as well, so that's, that's great. I feel that Baylor is uh, among the best that I know about in terms of consistent placement for graduate students. If Baylor excels at something in their sociology program, it would be in the quantitative data analysis. So you can take that theoretical side and apply it in your research. Well, theory and research are not mutually exclusive and they're not competitive, they're cooperative. They work together. Statistics aren't, um, uh, helpful without any good theory that's underneath it. And um, uh, I think that's one of the hallmarks of what Baylor sociology can do. We study how religion is lived, um, and it's endlessly fascinating. You have not only that human side, but so much diversity, right? You have all, all the world religions. And I think that's one thing our program does well, is we have people studying religions all around the world. The most visible thing that we do, and we've been doing now for almost a decade, is the Baylor Religion Survey, which is a national survey done for us by the Gallup organization. One of the big benefits of having a Baylor Religion Survey is that uh, graduate students can use that data to publish off of. And so that's data that is only theirs. The Health and Society track tries to understand differences in mental and physical health uh, as they relate to social factors, social structures, social forces. So we're looking at everything from um, education, income, and occupation to neighborhoods and networks and communities. We're sometimes even looking at uh, entire societies, uh, comparing societies, trying to understand what are the different structures and determinants of health um, in our social worlds. I'm excited about our course offerings. We uh, offer a population health course, a sociology of aging course, and a health inequalities in America course. And we work closely with our graduate students to start them off on innovative research projects. And so knowing that you're coming into a supportive community, of scholars, but also friends, people that will be part of your network for a long period of time, is really, I think, one of the clear advantages of our program. Part of what makes our program so supportive is that we do not admit a student that we don't fully fund for five years. Our graduate students receive very generous packages, stipends, money for conference travel. Typically students can attend two conferences a year. I left a professional job not in sociology to pursue this degree and part of what allowed me to do that was a competitive stipend. I chose Baylor because of the recruitment weekend. I saw that people liked each other. So I work at a research center here on campus with, that is housed within the sociology department and we do research for community organizations. I mean, just nothing, nothing but positive experiences here. Um, like I said, uh, I, I dreamed about coming to Baylor for a very long time because of, because of the academic credentials of the department. 